What's his good people? How are you all doing? I hope you're having an amazing day and I'm back. I'm back with another tutorial for you guys. Now last time I did show you guys how to download the NCMS and apparently I heard it is soon gonna be stopped updating. Like what? It hasn't been that long since I've like released my tutorial video and it's already out of date pretty much nearly. And also I didn't even know about this. I just recently just hopped back onto Worldbox and I went on Discord for like a new mod and I installed the mod and it was lagging my whole game. So I looked up the reason apparently there's a new mod that you should use at the end. The mods are now compatible with that one which is called NML. So I looked up how to download it and I will be showcasing it to you guys how to download it and how to delete NCMS now. Do know that you can run I think two of both of them at the same time but it's not recommended and I'm not going to be doing that. But anyways guys also shout out to you know my boy here uh, gentwise day 2 gmail he already asked me for how about an NML version on my uh, NCMS tutorial. And I will be showcasing you guys how to download the NML mod and it's not a mod it is something that runs the mod and also downloading a mod and using that mod but anyways for now let's get into it first thing you want to do is you want to head to steam once you're in steam make sure you head down to your library and find world box once you find world box go to workshop once you're in workshop simply type in nml and now here it is you want to get this i think it's by this person and now all you want to do is just subscribe and now what this will do is when you actually download the NML mod into the game, I believe it will automatically update. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe that is what I read. So you just want to get this. And now after you've done that, amazing, great job. And now you can see I already have NCMS. Now we're going to delete NCMS and you're probably wondering how do I do that? Well, first of all, you want to go back to your Steam and now you want to go back to the library again. Once you're in the library, head down to Worldbox again. Click on that little cogwheel and manage, go to manage and go to browse local files. Once you're in browse local files, you want to go to Worldbox data, streaming assets, mods, and you can see you should, it should look something like this if you followed my last tutorial. So what you want to do is just get rid of this and just get rid of these two as well. And there you go. The NCMS is completely gone now. You don't really need it anymore. So sad. NCMS, you, you know. You help me out a lot. You help me out with a lot of videos. But now, now do not close this off just yet. What you want to do is just want to minimize this. So just like that. Amazing. Once you have subscribed in the workshop and you deleted NCMS. Great job. You're already on the track. And now what you want to do is you want to get this link. I will leave this link down in the description. So just open this link up. And now you will need two things. From here, all you do is you'll probably be like up here somewhere. Just scroll down a little bit and you should see these things right here in the assets. Five of them. Now you don't need all five. First of all, you only need these two. So what you want to do is just click on the first one and just download it on your desktop. It's, now the process is very similar. Now you can see I already actually done this multiple times just to see if it's working. And I've also like tried to download NCMS again. And so that's why I already have these. But I'm just doing it brand new again. So now you want to download this one, which is the... Neo mod, Neo mod Loader PDB. So just these top two, you just want to get them in. Once you have them in, you can see right here, I have them right there on my desktop now. Now open up the files again that you didn't close down or I didn't say you should close down in case you did, that's fine. Just head back to Steam and go to Manage and Browse Files again. Now after you've done that, all you want to do is simply drag these two in there like so. That is amazing and you've done great, my friend. And now simply close this down. Once you close this down, amazing. It's very simple actually. It's the process isn't hard only when you first start doing it yourself and once you've done that simply click play now once you click play uh wait for your game to load and there we go once your game has loaded you will see the new icon right there mods and also just another thing guys head to settings and all the way to the bottom you want to have experimental mode i keep forgetting to tell you guys to turn this on i forgot it in my last video and i'm doing it at the end but i will probably do a voiceover and tell you at the beginning again uh but anyways you can see the mods right here so once you download a mod it will appear right here on like ncms which is gone now but anyways now i'll be showcasing you how to get a mod and just do it manually because you can't really download it through ncms anymore can you so i'll show you how to do that now so what you want to do is close world box. You don't need to be on there. So there you go guys. So the great place that you can get mods like I have told you this before is right here in the mod section of Discord for the game. Now this is a mod I'll be just doing it on which is the advanced genetic. What you want to do is click on this mod and just go on it. Wizard site. Now if you do not if you do not want to join the mod of course like the Discord I mean. If you don't want to join the Discord for the game what you can do is you can head to this website which is called gamebanana.com. 
pretty much and you can just search in world box mods and they're a great way and you will find a bunch of mods here you can download and it's a very good website altogether. and then once you're here just scroll down and get the latest version like this one was one day ago pretty much and it's at the top so we're just going to do a manual download now all you have to do is just download again so click manual download and then download again and it'll come up and right there there it is and save it to your desktop again like so easy and once you've done that close up that close up that and then what you want to do is head back if you i close my browse my files i should not have done that but anyways go back to your browse files and you will have a folder here which is mods now there we go what you want to do is simply drag in that mod right here perfect you've done a great job and now all you want to do is go back to steam and start worldbox And there you go, the game's up and now we go back and you can see right here, the mod is here. And I'm not fully sure how to do this, I haven't messed around with this at all yet myself. So I'm guessing you can go here and then turn off the mod settings, some stuff like that, yeah I believe so. And then you can see the mod is working right here, I can add, I can add trace to any mod because this mod, that's what the mod does. And it's very well, there you go, look at that, fantastic, lovely, absolutely amazing. Now, this is how you get NML, guys. You're welcome. Now, if there are any problems, I am not 100% sure how to solve them because this is very new and I just got back into Worldbox. So, I gathered the, as much information as I could and just showed you the way I downloaded it. And so, if there are any problems, I'll do my best to help you guys out in the comments. But anyways, thank you for watching. Like always, you already know what to do. And I hope to see you in the next video.